I met this China chick on a dating app. I asked her if she had a boyfriend. She said she didn't. Uh, we started talking for four days. She wanted to meet up, so we decided to come to my place. He came and picked me up from my house. He said that we were going to go out to dinner. Instead, he took me to his house. Things took a wrong turn. He tried forcing me to have sex, and I didn't want to. I kept tol telling him no. It is just he would not take no for an answer. She's accusing me that I raped her. I can't sleep, right? Getting text messages trying to get me to confess that I raped her even though I didn't. If she's trying to get her boyfriend to get take her back. This ain't the way to do it. He got on top of me. He kept trying to touch me. I kept telling him no, that I did not want to have sex. My son was right next to me when it was all going down, and I was just scared for my son's life and for mine. I was on top of her, kissing her neck, and she said she didn't want to have sex. I told her that's fine. I respect that. I told her I was going to sleep in another room, but she keep on pulling me in. After she pulled me on top of her, and we both gave in, she pulled my shorts down, and we ended up having sex. But before that, I asked her if you wanted me to use a condom or do you have the shots? And she told me she had the shots. I'm just saying, how is that rape if she told me that she had the shot and she and we both gave in? After a while of trying to get him off of me, I grabbed his shorts and he's saying I pulled them down. Like I took them off, but I did not. What I know is that I didn't rape her. I didn't force myself onto her. And then she's saying that I kidnapped her. Who kidnaps? a girl and their kid, like, that's just messed up. It, it's pissing me off because Richard doesn't believe me that I was raped. She was in contact with her boyfriend in my living room. Uh, I guess they were yelling because she would hang up. I would ask her what's wrong. He's saying Richard's just annoying me right now. He's calling me a slut and stuff. I was texting Richard and he just kept telling me to put my phone away and pay attention to him because he just wanted it to be me and him. I was scared on what he was going to do next. A couple of days after we have sex, I get a text message from her boyfriend, Richard, asking me exactly what happened. So I send him all the text messages of when we started talking from the day where she's trying to get me to confess that I raped her. I need to prove to Richard that I was raped by Aaron because I do not want him doing this to any other girls. It's not right, and he should not get away with what he did to me. I really don't know why she wants to ruin my life. She told me that she wanted to hurt me. I told her I want to hurt her. And what she's doing, she's destroying my life. I was raped, and I need to get justice for it. And Aaron is not gonna get away with this. I just really don't know who to believe because, you know, in the past, Shauna's lied to me. She's cheated on me twice already. Yes. She, she meets a guy on a dating app she's never met before. How old is your son? 11 months. And she took him to this guy's house? Yes. Did you say, why the hell did you do that? Yeah, I was extremely upset. I mean, I don't know why she would do that. She's putting him in harm's way. So she was being raped and your son was in the apartment? Uh, the, son, the son was with her, right next to her whenever the rape went down. What do you mean, like laying right on the bed next to her? Yes, and I can't go off to work and trust her to be alone because that's usually when she, when she cheated on me is when I wasn't there. If it turns out he's not your son, how is that gonna? Um, honestly, I'm going to keep raising them. I wanted to give you a little room to talk, but uh, I have to jump in at that point. He had nowhere else to go, so you said, ah, you're coming with me to meet this strange guy. He did not tell me we were going to his house. He told me we were going to dinner. But you went back to his house. Yes, I did. Did he force you back to his house? No. I mean, I got in his car. Answer the question, yes or no. No, he did not okay. force me. Wouldn't you say, I'm sorry, I can't meet you tonight because I have my son? Well, like I said, like I was 
He seemed like a nice guy. From what? I wanted to meet him. How did him. you determine he was a nice guy? We video chatted and we talked on the phone. Okay. And so that was your determination. He's yes. okay. Yes. Okay. So where did you meet initially? He picked me up at my apartment. So you told the stranger where you live? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I mean, didn't, you went to grammar school, right? Yes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm not making fun of that. They had officer friendly or no? Do what? Officer friendly? Yes. Stranger danger? Yes. Okay. Don't take candy from a person pulling up in a car. Mm -hmm. You're a young mother of 18 years old. Yes. You thought it was okay to give a stranger your address to come pick up you and your son? Yes, at the time, yes. Okay, this has like lifetime movie serial killer all over it. <laughs> so he picks you up and your son's in the car seat? Mm hmm And you buckle him in? Yes. And where'd you go? I got in the car, we got in the car, I didn't know where we were going after that, so I asked him where we were going because like I said, I was under the impression we were going to dinner. So, but instead of taking a dinner, you he went back. To so his when house. you pull up to his house, apartment, what was it? A uh, trailer. Trailer. You pull. Hold on. You pull up to his trailer, and you say, "Hey, I thought we we're going to dinner." Yes. And what did he say? No, because he had to get up early in the morning to go to work. So did, did you say, "Well, then what the hell are we doing here?" No, I did not. So you said, "Yeah, let's go on inside." I did not, I was scared to go inside, honestly. But you did. But I did, yes. You're I had, scared. I had nowhere else to go. I mean, it was out in the middle of nowhere. Could you say, no, you said dinner, take me home. I asked him to take me home, but he said no. And what did you, did you have a cell phone on you? Yes. Why at that point did you call somebody and say, hey, I'm in really big trouble here. Somebody needs to come get me. Because at the time, like, like I said, I was scared. But then again, I was... You were so scared, you got into a car with a stranger, with your son, and drove to an undisclosed location. How scared were you? I was really scared. So you go on the trailer, and what happens? I sat down on the couch, and I changed my son's diaper, and I was still texting him and all this, and he kept on asking me... You're texting him? Yes, I was While you're in the trailer? Him. Could have yes. texted me Before the rape? Yes. And what are you telling him? He was just asking me how everything was going. And what were you saying? I, w I said it was going good because... You I just said you were scared! I was, but I didn't want... Did you to... ever convey to him that you were scared? No. Why not? I... At the end, you did. Yes, at the end, him. I did. At the end of what? At the end of what he did to you? No. Before everything happened, I texted him, I don't like this. Okay. So you're in the trailer, you're texting him, you're changing your baby's diaper. Then what happened? Then we went and watched a movie. What movie did you watch? I, I can't remember. But he kept on asking Was it me. a good movie? I wasn't paying attention. I was texting him. And he kept on asking me, can you put your phone down? I want this to be just me and you. And I told him no. I was like, this is my baby's father. OK. And what happened? He just got really mad and just like kind of shrugged it off. But then he took my phone. And you let him take your phone? Like, he kind of just snatched it out of my hands. By this time, the movie is over. The movie was over. What has the movie got to do with him snatching the phone out of your hand? Because it was pitch dark, and I couldn't see. Now, is this a trailer park, or is this a trailer set deep in the woods all by itself? It's like a trailer set on, like, acres of land. And you still went into that trailer with your son? Yes, it was a mistake. Okay, um, Aaron, yes. you're here because you're accused of a very violent crime. Yeah. This woman says that she meets you on a, a dating app, yeah, right? Yeah, meet me. Meet me? Yes, sir. And you two meet, right? You pick her up at her apartment? Yes, we did. She says that she was on the impression that you were going to take her out to dinner. No, sir. We didn't talk nothing about dinner. When you said, we're going to meet, and I'm going to pick you up, where did you say you were going to take her? She, we asked, well, I asked her, what do you want to do? And she said that I can't come over and hang out with her place because her baby daddy will be there. And I told her, okay, I don't want no drama. I'm not a drama person. 
So then she's like, well, we can go to your place. I'm like, that's fine with me. I even told her that I had to work the next day. And she said, well, I can stay the night if you want. I'm like, I don't see nothing wrong with that. She told you she could spend the night. Yeah, she asked me if she can spend the night. I said, that's fine. I mean, you're a young guy, right? How yeah. You're 24 years old. Yeah. When you pick her up and she's got a little baby with her, didn't that kind of, like, a little bit of a turnoff? Yeah. The and where's her son? Her son was uh, in front of her. Sleeping? No, he was playing. But you are funneling each other while the baby's playing. No, we were. She's following we were, you. Yeah, she was following me. and She was rubbing her butt, and I'm like, "Don't do that." She's like, "What? You like that?" I'm like, "You said don't do it." Yeah, I told her don't do it. I'm like, "Why that's... did you say don't do it?" Because I told her I was going to uh, make my friend a little happy, you know. She says that you forced yourself on her. She told me no once. I said okay. So I told her I'm going to sleep on the other side of the bed. Well, she's like, "What are you doing over there?" I'm like, "I'm going to sleep here because you said you don't want to have sex." She will go over there, lay on top of me put her arms around me, and pull me back into the, where she was. So I would have got up. I told her, I'm going to go sleep in the other room. And before, when I was about to get up, she put her arm around my, my shoulder, on my neck, and her legs around my back. And I had to, like, get up, <laughs> try to move out. You know what you did to me. You know. I know what? That you? You raped me. How is it rape? I kept telling you no. You raped me. Yeah, so you holding your arms around me and no. my back? No. Yeah, I, I tried to get away you from no. you. I said I, I was going to go no. to the other side of the room. I kept telling you. Sleeps. I said, I'm going to go to the other side of the room. You I put your arms you no. around my neck. No, I did not. Bull crap. I kept telling you no. I kept telling you to stop. What, what I do want to say is, she doesn't, she, as a woman, she doesn't have to punch you. She doesn't have to kick you. She, she, doesn't do have, she doesn't have to fight you. All she has to do is say no. <laughs> Richard came here, not the only reason why, but we gave him a lie to talk to Tess and we asked him, while in a relationship with Shauna, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females? He said no. He told the truth. <laughs> and this is whether you cheat on him. So we gave you a DNA test, Richard. And the results of that DNA test is you are the father of this little boy. <laughs> Shauna came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked her, did you ever ask Aaron to have sex? She said no. Did you verbally resist Aaron's sexual advances? She said yes. Did you physically resist Aaron's sexual advances? She said yes. Did you ever consent to sexual intercourse with Aaron? She answered no. The results for her lie detector test, they came back all the same, and they came back that Shauna told the truth. I told you! Aaron, you're here because you're accused of rape. Yeah. You came here and you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did Shauna verbally consent to having sexual intercourse with you? You answered yes. Did Shauna verbally agree to unprotected sex with you? You answered yes. The results came back the same, and they came back that you did not tell the truth. I told you! And young man, <laughs> you got what's coming to you. And you probably should go to jail. And I'm gonna get And I would hope that you learn from this lesson and you never force yourself on another woman again, because that's what you did. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's what you did. I hope you contact the authorities. I will. I hope you do whatever you need to to get justice for what this guy did to you. And I hope, moving forward, you make good decisions for yourself, never to put yourself in that position again. Good luck. I called you, Steve, for help, because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that. I can do that too. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.